Hi, I'm Starla from lifefullandfrugal.com, and today we're going to show you how to multiply houseplants for free. I have loved houseplants for a really long time. I think it got started when I was younger, and my grandmother, my nanny in uh, Louisiana, had houseplants all in her kitchen, and I just loved them. I loved the look. It brought the kitchen, it brought life and beauty, and I remember them always at her house. I also kind of fell in love with houseplants as I started looking at decorating magazines and paintings. I just loved the look of French country houses with geraniums and the windows. And I also was really inspired by Carl Larson and his wife and the beautiful paintings of their home and just the house plants that were scattered throughout. I started working in a greenhouse when I was in my late teens and I was given house plants. I was given starts by some of the people who worked there and I just kind of started from there. House plants are rather expensive now, especially when, if you want any that have any amount of size on them. So I started kind of researching to see how I could multiply what I had from my mother plants. We just really hope you enjoy this and that you're blessed by it and that you will do the things in the video to multiply your house plants. Okay, thanks so much, hope you enjoy. Okay, first off, we are going to take some cuttings from this scented geranium. We wanna take the leaves off so they don't rot when we put the stems in water. There you have it. In this jar, we are pulling apart uh, scented geraniums and regular geraniums that we've rooted in water. Lovely roots. Another geranium with roots. Now we're taking those cuttings with the roots and putting them in pots with dirt. Kind of arranging them, watering them. Now we've taken them to the greenhouse where they can grow and get big. Here's a full grown geranium that's about uh, three years old. And here is a scented geranium, full grown. Here's some purple queen that we've rooted in water. And here's a purple queen that is root bound in a pot. We're going to make a hanging basket out of it. We've taken a pot and added some crockery for drainage. Filling it up with some dirt. This is really root bound, so we're breaking up the roots, putting it in, taking our cuttings that are rooted in water, adding our dirt, just pushing that down, adding the leftover water. There you have it. Now here's Shanna, she's taking a cutting from a large geranium plant. And what she's actually gonna do is root it um, immediately into some dirt. Just gonna put that down in the hole, fill that up with some dirt. And you wanna just make sure you miss this and keep it really moist. And if it's super hot, you might want to do this a couple times a day. These are her baby plants she started. There's her mother plant. It looks really healthy. And here you have a full grown one with a beautiful bloom. Here 
we have some uh, spider plants that have the aerial roots, really healthy ones. All you need to do is just uh, make a hole in your damp soil and stick them in that hole. And what's so great is they look pretty right away. These will grow and get big. This is one that I started last year. And here's um, one of the mother plants that I've had for about four years. It's really healthy. I've wintered that over so many times. Here's my Monstera. This is about a three-year-old plant. Here's another um, aerial root. You're gonna need a knife to cut this off. Do not use scissors, it won't cut it. It's got a really nice root on it. You can uh, put these down in water. And if you want, you could do it in the dirt method as well. Here's a one year old plant from last year. It's really good and healthy. Here's our pink prayer plant and we are going to uh, separate these. You'll just take it out of the pot and just begin to separate naturally the different um, plant stems and their roots. We're just going to put crockery in the bottom of our pots some dirt in, fill, them, fill up the pot with some dirt, water them. We ended up getting five from the mother plant. Well, we hope you enjoyed the video. Please look in the description box below for some helpful materials and helpful links to help you along the way. We just thank you for watching the video. Please leave us a comment if you have any questions. Please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already done that. And we just thank you so much for being a part of our journey. You have a blessed day.